Well, an historic moment for Canada as Prime Minister Justin Trudeau announcing that Mary Simon has been chosen as the next Governor General of Canada, the first Inuk person ever to be appointed to the role. So with reaction to the news, Natan Obed, who is president of the Inuit Tabarit Kanatami, good morning to you. Uh, Natan, can you just try saying good morning again? I'm not sure if we had your audio there. I can't hear you. Don't worry about this. We're going to try to fix this in one moment. Apologize. There you are. Oh, was it the mute button? That is my the problem. Mute. Got you. There you go. <laughs> Natan, appreciate you joining. It happens to all of us. No worries. I want to get your initial reaction to her appointment, Mary's appointment. I was fortunate enough to be in the room and I was thrilled. I was actually a bit overcome with emotion uh, to see Mary Simon speaking in Inuktitut as um, the appointment um, designate. Also just that it means a lot to her as a Canadian. You know, she has aspired to this role and now she is going to be able to serve her country in this role. And it's great to, to imagine that you can do both, that you can be an Indigenous leader, you can fight for Inuit human rights uh, and Indigenous human rights, but then also you can serve your country. And she's done both in her career, and I know that she's going to be an amazing Governor General uh, moving forward. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau saying yesterday, and this is a quote, we need more leaders like Ms. Simon in high office, people who understand what it means to take on real issues and create positive change and change being the key word here and for you Natan do you think that under her leadership change can happen yes first and foremost uh, Mary is a diplomat but she also is kind and she is going to ensure you know ensure that in undertaking her role that she is celebrating Canadians, whether it's you know the Order of Canada um, events or whether it is going out into Canada in her official duties, she also you know has a wealth of experience in government and governance, and so she for sure will be able to undertake the duties in regards to the military and also in regards to the um, you know uh, the parliamentary role that she plays as well. But in this time of um, you know, difficult conversations about our history and the treatment of First Nations, Inuit and Métis in this country, I think Mary, as she said yesterday, can be a bridge. She can talk about the lived experience that she's had in her life. She can talk about the things that Indigenous peoples have been through, but she also can do it in a way that tries to educate and bring people together around um, sort of common goals rather than just um, have a discourse that is one-sided or that is leading people away from a shared path moving forward. Indeed. So tell me, uh, and you've alluded to it here, um, the role of representation and how so important it is at every level of government moving forward. Well, I've had a lot of conversations in the last couple of, in the last day about, you know, an Indigenous person as Governor General. And I'd like to just imagine, you know, just say, imagine that every governor general has come from somewhere. They have a, their home community, they have their family, they have the place that uh, where they belong, and they're very proud to be from that place. And it influences how they do their job. And the same can be said for Mary Simon. It's she is from Gujarat. She speaks Inuktitut. She has a very strong sense of family and community. She also is a Canadian, and she also brings all of those particular qualities into her role, but it is not the defining feature of the reason she is in the role. She understands uh, just as well as anyone who's ever taken that post, uh, the terms and conditions, uh, the mandate of her particular duties, and she'll put her personal expression um, on that, um, that service, mm -hmm. just like uh, um, Adrian Clarkson, just like Michael Jean, just like David Johnston. And so uh, it just so happens that, that we, she can be incredibly helpful um, in the relationship between Indigenous peoples in Canada as, as she's undertaking her role. Natan Obed, we appreciate you taking the time to speak with us this morning. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. All right, 810 is your time right now. We're going to check in with Stephanie Henry. She is watching the roads for you this morning. Steph, good morning to you.